We're getting on the sleeper train to go to Aswan. I'm so tired. We had such a full day. But I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna push through. Because we're gonna party tonight! An overnight train is not the best place to be if you want to sleep, but if you want to have a good time... <laughs> okay, we're having a train party here. And all the people who weren't attached on the trip decided to have a good time. They put all the couples in a different car, and I don't know what they did. I don't want to know what they did. So we had a few drinks, played a few games, even had a rousing discussion about Canadian identity, which I'm somewhat of an expert on. Go back, go back, everyone in this room. Okay, one, two, three, good taking! Oh my goodness, it's hot. It's hot in there. Okay. The social aspect of travel is just as important as experiencing a new culture, and I'm so glad we got to bond on that night. Ah, uh, we're not sleeping tonight. It does not seem like we're sleeping tonight. <laughs> Hi, I'm Andrew, also known as Gunnarola, musician and world traveler. This time I'm off to Egypt with Kentiki on an eight-day guided tour. We saw pyramids and temples, rode camels, and maybe even ate one. I would rather enjoy camel. It tastes like a breakfast sausage. But that's not all we did. This is the story of Egypt and the Nile. The train stopped in the middle of the night, which delayed our arrival, but it wasn't until we got to Aswan that I realized we're in Africa. I knew geographically that we were in Africa, but when you think of Egypt, you tend to think of the desert. And rolling in, on one side it was very lush and green, and on the other side it started to feel like something I hadn't seen before. This building, these are the Nubian people. We've moved them from south. We built a dam, we flooded the desert. Everyone lived south of Egypt, flooded. So we moved them here. Those are like African tribes. So guys, we have like 10 minutes drive. When we arrive further, they're gonna take all the bags into the boats. So just what you need. Don't leave anything in the bus. Oh my god! <laughs> I had never really been interested in the idea of a lazy cruise vacation until I got to see where we were going to spend the next three nights. Welcome. Okay. I'm going to see my hotel room. Can I call it a hotel room? What do we call this? Our boat, boat room. A boat room. <laughs> boat room. <laughs> boat room. <laughs> Holy, this is like nicer than most hotels that I stay in, but it's on a ship. Uh, I did it! This is nice. This is nice. Oh my goodness. This is so much better than the train. <laughs> <laughs> we freshened up and then it was time to go for a ride on the... dun 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 <laughs> so this thing's looping like a 20 second track. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they could afford. <laughs> and then we sailed down the River Nile and took in everything on the way.
fresh water. This is south. You know, if we go one mile north, I'm not gonna drink it. Because people dump rubbish and chemicals from factory. And people dump dead animals. People shower and they make the Nile dirty. Do you remember I told you the color, the Nile in Cairo, yeah. it's very different than here. We got off the Felucca and went to a place that sells Egyptian oils and I told myself I wasn't going to buy anything, but it's all good though because some of the stuff you cannot get anywhere else. We ended the day at a souk or open air market. Bargaining is a huge part of the shopping experience. It can be fun or frustrating, uh, depending on how much time you have and how much money you want to spend. I have a bit of experience doing this in Asia, so it wasn't anything new. However, I almost did get pickpocketed. A vendor came up to me trying to sell me artwork, and I politely declined and tried to keep walking, but he put a stack of them in front of me. And when I got on the bus, uh, I realized that my bag was unzipped, and I did not unzip it. Luckily, nothing was stolen. I put my money in a pack that zipped up in a wallet, that zipped up in a bag, but it did make me a lot more aware. This kind of thing can happen anywhere you go in the world, especially where there are tourists, so you always have to be careful. So, to shop around here, you gotta really know what you want and how much you want to pay for it. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna spend a lot of time getting hassled. So, once again, we had a really packed day and it ended with some entertainment on board the ship, boat, whatever it is. I had to get to bed right away though because we had a 4 a.m. wake up call. Next Friday on Gunnarola, we went to Abu Simbel, which is a giant temple carved into a mountain. This is 2,000 years old. Is it a ship or a boat? It's a so we've got a party tonight.